Question. Have you ever been caught in a flash mob? That's when a large group of people gather in a public place to perform a, a random act, like a choreographed dance in unison. Well... You might get a chance to witness one if you're hanging out in Richmond. The city is putting together multicultural flash mobs. And to tell us more, we're joined this morning by Andrea Arnott, who is the Welcoming and Inclusive Communities Coordinator with the Richmond Multicultural Concerns Society. Good morning and welcome. Good morning. What is a multicultural flash mob and what's this project all about? Well, a flash mob dance, as you said, Mm -hmm. is sort of a random dance that happens out in the public. Um, It's not quite so random because it is practiced and um, people get together ahead of time to work together on on the dance. Um, And what I did was uh, came up with an idea to have a multicultural flash mob dance. I hired five different choreographers to come up um, with five different cultural styles of dance and weave them together into an integrated performance to sort of send the message that people of all different cultures can work together to send a message to the community. And what's that message you want to send? Message is that um, Richmond is a very multicultural city, um, and we can all learn from each other about different cultures. We can work together, um, that there are things that um, we can do to integrate more fully. Why a flash mob as opposed to another sort of gathering, a meeting or a discussion or or what? Uh, Well, flash mob dance is kind of a new phenomenon, and uh, I I saw one at um, on Robson Street during the Olympics, and thought, hmm, this could be an interesting project. I saw people of all different ages, abilities, cultures coming together, and it was really just a joyous event. People were really happy and excited to do it, and I think that um, doing something a little different like that sometimes catches people's attention more than a traditional workshop um, or a or a scheduled performance. The dancers are one thing, but how do you get the rest of the people involved talking about and in the spirit of multiculturalism? Well, uh, we do several different um, multicultural projects um, that I manage, and uh, we have a lot of contacts um, where we'll be recruiting dancers. Um, Yeah, I I think that doing something different that's hip and popular um, will attract a lot of younger people as well. Now, flash mobs are supposed to be random and unplanned, other than, other than some of them are choreographed. But this is, is this really a flash mob, or is this just traveling performance, since there's going to be choreography and rehearsals and everything else? <laughs> yes, there will be choreography and rehearsals, and it's a very <laughs> planned project. It's, it's a ministry-funded project, so there's goals and objectives um, for the project. Um, but actually, flash mob dances are choreographed ahead of time. Um, the, the surprise element of it is where the performance ah. will happen. And so it'll strike without notice. Exactly. There won't be any big media release. We're doing a flash mob dance at this location. Not even a hint? Mm, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's meant to be a surprise. So it will be in public venues. And, and where are you right now in the planning? Or what stage are you? Um, we are just in the beginning stages. As mentioned, I've hired the choreographers. Mm-hmm. There's working on the initial um, steps. We're recruiting dancers right now. And we'll be starting rehearsals at the end of September. And then the performances will be between January and March. And the dancers are all volunteer? Yes. And and what kind of volunteers are you looking for then? We are looking for people of all ages from 12 onwards. Um, all ages, abilities, cultures. Um, you can have dance experience or you can have no dance experience. And how do they get in touch with you then? Uh, they w- can reach me by email. That's usually the best. Mm-hmm. And that's andrea at rmcs.bc.ca. At? bc.ca at rm rmcs okay. bc.ca terrific and we'll put a link on our website to your website as well so if anybody that, wants to have a look at it and not learn more they can just go to cbc.ca slash early edition that would be great terrific thanks andrea All best right, of luck with you. it thanks for having not me not even a in. hint as to when huh uh, j- between january and march uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you have to watch out andrea arnott welcoming and inclusive communities coordinator with the richmond multicultural concern society and she's currently recruiting volunteers to be part of the multicultural flash mob project so if you're interested email andrea you can find her email address and more from her website on our website just go to it cbc.ca slash early edition all the information will be there if you want to be involved in uh, the flash mobs in richmond Fifteen and a half minutes now before six o'clock. You're listening to the early edition here on CBC Radio One.